Hey, what's up, beautiful soul? Welcome back to another video. The title of today's video or the topic is let go and trust what's happening. It's all part of the plan. Before I jump in, I wanted to share something about today's message. If you're watching this right now, please trust that this is for you because my process was a little bit different before I decided to film the video today in that I usually go to a coffee shop, write my thoughts out, process whatever I need to on my personal side and then kind of see what comes up. And today I asked directly, I didn't really write a whole lot or have to process a lot. I'm actually in a really good state, really uh, awesome vibe and like it's just been great today. And uh, so I didn't have a lot to write. So I sat there and I wrote, Spirit, what would you like me to share today? And I just started writing. And about halfway through I was writing, one, there's two things. I didn't really know what I was writing. I was just writing it down, which is interesting, which means pretty much, pretty clear channeling. Like I was just kind of going. And secondly, I, uh, yeah, halfway through I, it, oh, I was looking at it and I was like, oh, I've, you know, talked about this stuff before, but it seemed to come out a little bit differently. So all that to be said that again, please, if you're seeing this, like trust that this is for you because I pretty much like, this isn't me. This is just something coming through me. This is like a channeled message. So let go and trust what's happening. It's part of the plan. Cause I, I wrote a lot more down than I normally do. And I'm kind of just going to, I'm supposed to just read what I wrote today. Um, so let go, trust what's happening, it's part of the plan. So this is for people who are in, a, especially for people and you, if you are in a difficult time in your life or if you've been making progress and there seems to have been like a detour or something happened that you feel like derailed you in your goals or you know maybe you started dating and really liked somebody and the relationship went south or you know you had this really good idea uh, and it didn't work out or maybe you got fired from your job or something like that where everything seemed to be going smooth and maybe there was something that kind of derailed you quote unquote and it seems like oh my god why is this happening you know so that's kind of who this message is for today let go and trust what's happening it's part of the plan the hardest thing for many people myself included of course is to trust and let go of the events that happen to our life and in the way or how they unfold. You got to trust and let go that all the things that we desire, that you desire, are coming to fruition. We often think that by letting go of how things are happening or how it looks, that, oh my gosh, I lost my job, etc., that by doing that, we're not moving forward or that what we want isn't gonna come forward or happen. But in fact, it's quite the opposite. By trying to control how things happen, we're creating resistance in our lives and pushing away that which we actually want. So what do I mean by this? Let's use the example of love. We all want love, or I would assume most of us do. We're human beings. We have a need for connection, desire, and especially if you're on the spiritual path, it can be lonely, but we all want a partner. So let's look at love as an example. Imagine that you really want this relationship. You really want to meet the guy or the girl of your dreams. And you really want that guy or girl to like you, and you meet someone who you're really interested in. It sparks that interest, like, oh my God, they're amazing. And we start getting all caught up in our emotions, our feelings, and thinking crazy, acting differently. In that, in which we lose ourselves and what attracted that person to us or us to each other originally, which was just you being your authentic self, that's what was attracting, creating the attraction. But since you're getting caught up in your mind, and oh my God, I really want this, in other words, you're attaching to the outcome that, oh my God, this person's amazing. They get turned off and it doesn't work out because they can sense the attachment and the control that you're immediately putting on the situation. So that's an example about how us not letting go and just being our authentic selves and trusting in the natural unfoldment of things pushes people away. And this is our ego trying to self-sabotage us because we're attaching to things. We're trying to control how it happens. In other words, we're trying to control that other person and they can feel that. Maybe you've experienced this yourself, right? 
a man or a woman really liked you, came on to you way too strong, and you're like, dude, whoa, they're trying to like way too controlling, rather than just like chilling out and enjoying each other's company, getting to know each other. So then that's an example of attaching and trying to control rather than surrendering and letting things happen organically. This is the hardest thing to do when we're experiencing hardships or challenging times. So in other words, if you're super broke right now, it's kind of hard to sit here and go, oh yeah, I trust that I'm supposed to be broke for a reason. I'm supposed to be jobless for a reason. I'm supposed to be like, I'm supposed to get laid off for a reason. Oh yeah, Pierce, that's a bunch of crap. Because you're triggered, you're hurt. You're in a place of your lower self. There's something within your ego, within you, that's being triggered, so you feel pain. So, of course, it's not going to make sense. Oh, dude, you're an idiot. This is BS. Ah, I probably already clicked off by now. But I'm here to remind you, and you know this, as a light worker, as a star seed, as here, someone who's here to raise the vibration of the planet by living your happiest, most fulfilling desires and dreams, which will put you in the most happiest, fulfilling, loving, peaceful state, and indirectly influence every single person and environment that you're in because you're vibrating high, because you're happy. I'm here to remind you that rejection, it's not denial. You're not being denied what you want. You really wanted this girl, but she rejected you. That's not rejection. You're not being denied what you want of true love. I'm here to remind you it's redirection to what's really best for you. She could have been freaking crazy. Or like you could have like had some, she has some gnarly entity attached to her and then now it jumps onto you and sabotages your whole plan. I've had that happen before, maybe you have too. So rejection is not denial from what you want, it's a redirection to where you're supposed to be. You're supposed to go with the flow and again, this is, I understand it's very hard when this is challenging, but you're supposed to go with the flow and let go in faith and trust that whatever situation life is presenting to you, it's for a reason. The challenging times are there to shape you into who you're meant to be in order to receive the blessings. The challenging times are there to teach you the lessons you need in order to receive and sustain everything that you've been asking for. So an example of this is money. Say that you really are in a financial hardship and you're a single mom or single dad and you're like, you know, what are you talking about, man? I would love to just be blessed with a million bucks and I just got laid off. I need money more than ever. Again, you're not being denied what you want, but maybe by instead of just dumping a large sum of money on you, you're supposed to learn how to build this for yourself so you have a better relationship with money in order to sustain the huge amount of money that's on the way to you in your life. And I get it. I actually know, I can feel in my heart that this video probably won't get a lot of views because you're gonna be like, dude, this is negative. This is, because this is triggering for a lot of people because this is a message specifically for people in difficult situations. But if you can humble yourself and allow your emotions and ego to subside and let your higher self be open to the message that's being imparted uh, through me, it's not me, uh, this will truly help you change your life and shift your experience in such a powerful way, shift you in a powerful way that you'll be set up for a fast track for everything that you've been asking for. It's about letting go and surrendering. And if things are good, continue to let go and surrender of that more because there's going to be even more blessings that come into your life. So the challenging times are there to teach you the lessons you need in order to receive and sustain what's coming in. In other words, your relationship is crappy with money. That's why you're broke or you just got laid off or something you need to learn about integrity with work, whatever. If the universe blessed you with a million bucks, but you still have a crappy relationship with money, well, guess what? You're going to go broke again because you don't have a good relationship with money. So you, it's showing you what you need to heal. You need to heal your beliefs, your understanding, your relationship with that, about money. And when you do that, Watch what happens. You're going to be blessed with huge amounts of opportunities and you're going to be more than taken care of. So an example of this that I wrote down is like a failed business. For example, let's say you started a business with a friend. You started to taste some success and you and your current business partner started to take off a little bit and you started to see some success and they betrayed you. They left you in the dust, stole your idea, took the money, whatever, took the money and ran, left you. You 
the lesson that you would learn is that you learned who not to go into business with. And again, it's not that you're being denied, you're being redirected to what's best for you. So by this partner betraying you, now you have a different ideal and understanding about who you need to build a business relationship. And then instead of being denied, this actually caused you to meet a different business partner. Then now you went into business with them, you meet them, and they're the most incredible, amazing partner in which you're thriving and learning and growing more as a person in all different ways than you could have ever imagined. And your biz, your business, it grows 10 times, 100 times more than it ever would have with the other person. So although there was a very painful experience of being betrayed and stolen from and et cetera, it led you to meet your new business partner in which you have the best business, better than you could have even ever imagined, especially with that other person. And you learned valuable lessons about money, about your level of discernment on who to who and who not to work with. So it's another example. Or if it's your job, say you lost your job. Let go, surrender. Or no, I'm sorry. Our job in this whole process is to let go, is to surrender. So especially when difficult, challenging things are happen, happening, look at the lesson, but let go of the pain, let go of the feeling. How do we do that? You sit with it. Don't smoke it away. Uh, don't go and have sex it away. Don't workaholic it away. Don't work out it away. Don't drink it away. Don't gamble it away. In other words, don't avoid the feeling. You sit there with it and you allow yourself to experience the feeling and that energy will move through you. Our job is to let go and surrender all the emotion and the feeling. That's the blocked energy within you. Because the second you go and play video games or smoke a joint or uh, go out and do like retail shopping, retail therapy and go shopping or like, you know, not to say that you shouldn't do those things, right? Please understand the context I'm putting this in. Our job is to be there and let the pain teach us the lesson it needs to teach us. You don't have to suffer it's painful, it hurts, but you don't have to sit there and dwell on it and suffer, but it's there to show you something. Let go, surrender, be present, and pay to pay attention to what your life is showing you. This is revealing what you need to heal, where you need to go next, what you need to do, what you need to learn, etc. These are the breadcrumbs, the breadcrumb trail that's leading you down the path that you should be on or you need to be on. So please, I know this is a challenging message today to hear, but this is what I was, was called to share. This is what I wrote down, which was interesting to me. I was like, huh? And my ego and full transparency is like kicking in like, oh dude, this is not positive. This is not like what you need to share. No, I asked spirit what I should share and talk about today. This is what came out of me. This is what came through me. So if you're watching this, especially if you're at this point at the end of the video, trust that this is for you write about it, humble yourself, be there, be pissed off, be sad, be angry, whatever you need to be there, be there with the emotion. Don't suffer there and sit there and let it stall, but allow yourself to experience it and then take a higher perspective. What is this trying to teach me? What is it I need to learn here? That's where you'll transcend all of this and all the blessings, everything you've asked for will begin to fall into place so effortlessly. The quote I'll leave you with today, or quotes I should say, some of us think that holding on makes us strong, but sometimes it's the letting go. The second quote is, the sooner we let go of holding on, the sooner we can hold on to the beauty of what's unfolding before us. Nothing was ever meant to stay the same forever. You're in a constant cycle and a current period of immense and powerful transformation. And it's the adverse, difficult experiences that are there shaping you and transforming you into who you need to be, who you will be. Because what, do you think you're gonna be some mega millionaire that's never experienced hardship or like everything comes easy? No, you haven't learned how to handle adversity. That's the skill. So on that way to be making your first million or multi-millions or whatever the financial goal is or X goal for you, these situations are here to teach us and the sooner that we teach or we learn and let go of the situation surrender, the easier and more 
aligned the blessings and flow of our life becomes. So let go. Because if you think that it's going to be easy and it should just always be sunshine rambles, well, of course, you know that's not true. This is what we signed up for. You are on your path. You're exactly where you're supposed to be. So in the difficult situations, especially you're here and it is here to help you build your character. Imagine you as the highest version of yourself. How much have they overcome? Or even if they haven't overcome, what are they capable of overcoming? Is that the same character you hold now? Do they look at things from a higher perspective and reflect on how to move forward? Best version of yourself, what would he or she do? That's what I got for you today, guys. Love you so much. I'll see you soon for another video. Peace.